Hello folks. Oh my eyebrows are getting crazy. We're gonna be doing a gin today. A gin 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 gin. Not an English gin. A good old fucking classic. Actually it's not classic because it's somewhat new. An American gin. Aviation gin. Um, Ryan Reynolds uh, owned this at one point. Uh, he still does. I'm sure he still has fingers in it obviously because he still tweets and shit about it um but uh yeah so i'm doing aviation gin today I, like obviously I, this is you know here and there i'll do other stuff but i'm gonna do aviation gin got the good old glass here i'm gonna do something a little different today because gin is like something you really don't drink straight i go i guess you can but i'm gonna make uh anytime i do a gin drink now i'm going to uh show you guys how to make a gin drink all right, sounds good to me. So stay, stay for that. I'm gonna test test it first, and then, then we'll do the the drink. It smells very uh, piney. Um, and kind of uh, fruity too, like a, a berry. And that's like it, it, with gin. I haven't I haven't tried smelling or tasting gin all that much. So like, I always smell like the sweetness, and then like a pine scent to it. Uh, I know, like I th generally I think it's it's distilled with like uh, junipers. I guess some type of like berry. But let's give it a test. I mean, it's all right. Uh, I mean, the beef eater I had, it was a little bit, I think it had more flavors to it. This, this almost tastes like vodka. Um, that's how, how weird it is. So it tastes like vodka with a little bit of that, like that pine scent in it. So, you know, I like, once again, this is the second gin I've only ever tried, so we'll have to get to it. But like I said, like this video is not going to be very long. Um, maybe well, I don't know. But like I said, it's Ryan Reynolds gin, um, aka Deadpool, aka the Quitmaster, aka he's fucking Canadian. I mean, I still fuck him. I would fuck him, but uh. I'm going to show you guys how to make a perfect gin and tonic. Perfect. So, just to let you know, I didn't rinse any of the whiskey out of this glass. So, that's one way you you got to fucking do that. So, uh, because it's gin and not whiskey. So, we'll pour a little bit more. Um, wait a minute. Yep, nope, I'm doing this backwards. So, give me one second. All right, yeah. I know this isn't, this is blasphemy, but like I'm gonna pour this gin out because we don't want to do this in the wrong order, right? Okay, so you have your empty glass, right? This is any, any booze drink, you have to do it this way. And it's only the right way. So I'm gonna make you a good gin and tonic and you get yourself a nice cherry Pepsi, not sponsored by the way, so get yourself a nice, Cherry or whatever cola, um, you know, slowly, you slowly crack it. Mmm, gut rot, diabetes. So you put you put the tonic in first. Everyone knows when you're making a an alcoholic drink, you don't want to mix it. So you put the tonic in first. And then you put the booze on top. Don't mix it. Don't do any of this stupid mixing shit. And then you just you go right to it. Mmm. Tastes like gold. Uh. Stop. Um. 
yeah, that's see, that's the perfect gin and tonic right there. None of that fancy mixing or stupid shit. Just straight black gold and whatever the fuck this gin shit is. But uh, you know, if you guys want any more uh, cocktail tips, go ahead and hit that like button and hit the subscribe button too, which would be very appreciated. And if you have any questions or concerns or um, any other things you want to discuss, or maybe you have your own drink you want to suggest, uh, talk about it down below. I do check those on the reg, kind of. Um, actually, I don't have much going on in my life, so I check them often. So um, please, if you enjoy this, do those things I, I said. And uh, yeah, the perfect G&T. Cheers. Man, the fucking English are weird. <laughs>